from the Dodge City Times, Dodge City, Kansas, June 8, 1878. The Wicked City Newspaper correspondents are apt to give the worst phase of social life in Dodge City, but Bona in the Pueblo Chieftain does not make an overdrawn picture. We make a few extracts on things generally. Dodd City contains about 1,000 regular inhabitants, but during the cattle season, it swells to several times that number of people, which of course makes it good for hotels, restaurants, saloons, and other caterers to the wants of the cowboys and cow owners. The average Texas cowman gambles, and to supply this want, almost, if not every saloon in the city, has one or more gambling tables. Pharaoh, Monty, and the other usual games are dealt openly, and most of the saloons have a private room for the votaries of draw poker. Three dance houses are in full blast and appear to be making money. The cowboy is apt to spend his money liberally when he gets paid off after his long drive from Texas, and the pimps, gamblers, and prostitutes who spend the winter in Kansas City and other large towns generally manage to get to the point where the boys are paid off so as to give them a good chance to invest their money in fun. The people who own Dodge City and live there do not look with favor on the advent of these classes, and only tolerate them because they cannot well help themselves. They follow the annual cattle drive like vultures following an army, and disappear at the end of the cattle driving and shipping season. It is this feature of the business that makes people averse to the Texas cattle business coming to their towns, and Dodge has already a strong element opposed to cattle coming there to be shipped. Dodge City is the county seat of Ford County and has an excellent two-story brick courthouse, a first-rate graded school, a union church, two newspapers, and all the appliances of religion and civilization found in other towns of its size in Kansas. Extremes meet here, and Dodge can show some of the best as well as some of the worst elements of frontier life. There are but a few eastern cattle buyers here as yet, but several of the owners of small herds have sold out to the owners of large bunches. The prices realized are about as follows. Two-year-old steers, $12. Cows, $15. Two-year-old heifers, $11. Yearlings, $8. Three-year-old steers, $17. And four-year-olds, $19. It was formerly supposed that the country in this vicinity was of no account as an agricultural country, but the successful growing of heavy crops for several years past has dispelled this illusion, and it will not be many years till the deadline for the Texas cattle business will be removed a long way west of Dodd City, for the farmers and longhorns never can get along peaceably together. The business will, in all probability, go to West Las Animas if it ever leaves Dodd City. The rank growth of grain and vegetables in this vicinity proves that the soil of the Arkansas Valley is fertile from the mountains to the Mississippi. There has been plenty of rain for several years past to make crops in this vicinity.